doesn't need his name up in lights He just wants to be heard Whether it's the beat of the mic He feels so unlike everybody else alone in spite of the Welcome to the second week's roundup from the Singer Schools A Division League We are in a much better position now to say who is at the top of these uh, rankings who are looking good and who are looking not so good and who is looking like they will be credible challengers as well it's been a fantastic second week we had a cracking first week to start things off but now we're in a better position to say who's going up and who's going down in this single league of course it's just a second week far too early to say who are going to be the champs but there are a few schools that have put their hand up and said you know we are somebody who might be able to do uh, win that title this year around some surprising results this week as well we'll get right into those let's start with the Wesley versus Anthony's match Wesley have been the surprise package this season they went down in the first half to St Anthony St Anthony's of course suffering that huge defeat uh, in the first week that they had against St Peter's and coming back this week to we lead against uh, Wesley College at half time but unfortunately succumbing to a second half onslaught from the Wesley team which have been brilliant in the second half uh, in in the uh, previous week as well against Isipatana when they came back to win that game in the second half and here in uh, the second half also they came back and uh, managed to thrash uh, Anto in the final equation 32 points to 17 so that fitness level is something that Wesley are bringing to the party and hopefully that is something they'll be able to sustain we talked last week about whether they'll be able to sustain that over the period of a long season where they've got nine matches to play and maybe some trophy games as well so whether they will be this good in the second half later on in the season is something that we've got to ask ourselves if they've got if they've done their preseason work if they've got their fitness right then all credit to them then they know exactly what they're doing so Terence Henry will probably uh, not be able to give them a lot of attention this week because he's been uh, playing for the Sri Lanka team of course in the HSBC Asian Five Nations so let's see how they come out uh, this week and fare without having the attention of their coach 24-7 we also had another game between Royal and Kingswood these were two teams which are on par they both su they both suffered defeats in the first uh, week and they were looking for their first win of the season and Royal playing at home managed to eke that one out 13 points to 7 was how that one finished in favor of Royal College but uh, Kingswood managing to score across the line and score against Royal as well and Royal will be upset that that defense is not holding they considered a lot of tries to Science College as well and that's where their real problem is that defense looks like it's not on par they'll be happy of course that Rimsy Jamaldin managed to get some points on the board as well uh, they had nine points coming through uh, his boot or 11 points rather uh, coming from his boot and they'll be happy uh, that he is among the point scorers get some confidence they need to get this team starting slowly and working their way in uh, to the tournament let's see whether they are able to overcome those physical deficiencies that we noticed from them against science college where they were getting knocked back in the tackle not winning the collision situations but if they are managed if they have managed to sort that one out it's going to be a long process for them so by about the fourth or fifth week you might see uh, the Royal College that we are more used to seeing uh, as they are or thereabouts at the middle or at the top of the table third place finishes last year if they can get close to that I think they'll be happy with this current team uh, that they have we also had a giant game Joe's versus peace that's a huge trophy game for that uh those two schools for the father Basil Virathunga trophy as well and that one was a real cracker because we had St. Joseph's coming in in the first half they had their big forwards guys like Jason Melder Stefan Gregory people who can take that up and we talked about guys like Wishmeter in the midfield who can really do damage for them as well with their ball carrying and then we've got the likes of really strong boys uh, like Anurad Herath from uh, St. Peter's and that entire team 1 through 15 looks like it is in brilliant condition it looks like one of the, the strong teams one of the faster teams in the entire a division 1 through 15 and that's where the difference lies uh, for the St. Peter's team as against any other team that they might play so St. Joseph's coming out strong in the first half managing to lead by 15 points to 12 St. Peter's were given a wake-up call early on in uh, that uh, half-time huddle of course they came back managed to score 30 points in the uh, in the second half and uh, win that game comfortably in the end by 43 points to 15 I was speaking to uh, officials from both schools asking what happened and uh, St. Peter's just didn't start well they're very unhappy with their performance even though they scored 43 points and uh, they are they are going home going back to the drawing board and seeing exactly where they conceded all those points in the first half to St. Joseph's apparently uh, the father rector of St. Peter's had accused them of playing like girls and uh, that's something I'm sure Anurad Herat and uh, 
the rest of the boys, especially in that forward pack, would not want to hear. But uh, St. Joseph's came through well, but suffered a few injuries. They had a, at almost five players injured, and they had a few incidents, which I think uh, is part of rugby uh, at the A Division level. They don't have a lot of experience at this level, so a lot of the uh, Josephian players complaining of the contact situations, off the ball stuff that they had to encounter. But you know what? That happens. That's rugby, and uh, that's what it takes to stay in the A Division. And I think they will be much better off uh, for this experience. But nevertheless, a 40 three points to 15 win a bonus point win uh, for St. Peter's against a good St. Joseph side so this is uh, this is really a result that we can take something out of uh, as to where the standings of these teams are St. Peter's looking fit fast and strong and despite the fact that they played badly had still managed to come up with 40 points so that's something uh, that the Peters boys should take home as a positive unfortunately they're taking home a lot of negatives as well but I think they're being a little bit too hard on themselves and uh, that's the problem with St. Peter's sometimes you get a little bit too obsessed with themselves instead of giving some credit uh, to the opposition as well saying that they played well in the first half and our, our superior fitness overcame them in the second half and I think that's really what happened at that game so 43-15 a big win for St. Peter's retaining the father Basil Wiratunga trophy for the 14th year in a row but uh, good performance also from Joseph's uh, coming and giving them a little bit of a scare the Peterites were looking over their shoulder for much of that game so congratulations to both teams for outstanding performances. Then we had what was probably the most looked forward to game of the weekend. We had Trinity travelling down to Mount Lavinia to play Science College. Science College, of course, as we discussed, uh, coached by uh, Rohit Rajapaksa. We had Nama Rajapaksa, the national uh, team hooker also, who was involved in uh, their preparations. And they have been the surprise package of this season so far. But uh, that was not to be on this occasion because Trinity looked like they knew exactly what they were on about. I was very happy looking at this Trinity side because they look well drilled. They look very smart. They've got that nows about them and it looks very much like they are going to be top contenders for this league alongside St. Peter's. The Trinity St. Peter's game is probably what is going to decide who remains unbeaten uh, throughout the uh, course of this uh, Singer A Division League Championship. It was an outstanding game of rugby. Not much to write home about in terms of uh, far-reaching tries, no, no moments of individual brilliance, but just good drilling work uh, from uh, Trinity College. When they scored on the stroke of half-time from a number eight move, they had a five meter scrum on the right flank and everybody who's worth their salt knows that this is what was coming. But the fact is that they had a number eight move, eight, nine, 14, Lochana Girahagama moving in uh, the stroke boy moving into uh, the number 14 position to make sure he managed to barge over the try and 8-9-15 was uh, just 8-9-14 rather was just a fantastically worked move and it was a copybook move textbook stuff uh, from this Trinity College team which shows that they have they have confidence in their own abilities and they also know exactly how to execute and when to execute uh, those ploys so that is the try even though it wasn't a spectacular one that told me that this Trinity team uh, knows exactly what is on about good performance from Hing single Laksana who was uh, on the flank and then moved uh, to number eight as well. We had a superb uh, performance controlling the game from Tarindra Ratwata. I thought he was good last year, but he has improved leaps and bounds this year as well. He's added a little bit of a running game to him uh, and he's taking the ball up uh, to the three quarter line before releasing his uh, centers in Durek, Aluihara, and Loch and uh, we've got some uh, good speedy three quarters as well from them. Harlik Wadu, not really too much in the game this time around. He was uh, he was pretty much relegated to defensive uh, tactics, managed to get his hands on the ball a few times but not really enough uh, to make an impact because the Science College defence was really outstanding and that's what was good about this uh, game because both defences were really outstanding. It was one for the purists, not one for someone who uh, came to watch outstanding uh, attacking rugby and flair rugby and open rugby but it was very good defence uh, from both teams. Science College very quick off the mark and these uh, Trinity backs just had nothing to do uh, which is why the uh, which is why Tarindarath Wathas performance became so important because he was really controlling the game, putting the ball into the corners and uh, deciding when to run and they were deadly off uh, turnover ball. For Science College, they were trying to run it 95 meters almost every time to score. And with Ratwatha pegging them back in their 22, they really ran out of options because Richard Dharmapala was trying to beat his man and he was well marked by 13-14 uh, and 13-11. Giragama did an outstanding job on uh, Dharmapala who was clearly the player uh, of uh, the three-quarter with the most skill that was evident on that pitch but the fact remains that he uh, couldn't do much on his own trying to run it out from his own try line and that was uh, the end of that they ran out of ideas and uh, didn't have much to do uh, after they uh, after they after they were 
pegged down or pegged back in their own uh, three quarter in their own 22. So that was something that uh, will disappoint Rohit Rajapaksa and the Science College team. They need to have a little bit more tactical awareness in how they approach these games. They need to play a little bit more territorial rugby. And Sahan Vijay Singh, I thought, was the player that uh, if you can single out one player who needs to improve uh, to make that Science College backline improve, Sahan Vijay Singh at the fly half is the guy that I would uh, I would uh, choose out. Outstanding performances from Costa in the back row at number eight for uh, Science College and also we had a very good game from Chatura Gomez who put over a couple of points for them and was in the thick of things. A huge work rate from him and uh, Richard Dhanmapala but not enough of a team performance from uh, Science College but good discipline from both teams and it was really a treat uh, of a rugby game to witness even though it was only 18 points to 11 in favour of Trinity College. Then we had the big upset of the uh, of the tournament so far and uh, that was when the defending champs Isipathana travelled up to Dharmaraja. They were, Isipathana were coming in off a loss of course to Wesley. That was a close close game. Could have gone anywhere and you could say that it was just bad luck uh, that, uh, that Isipathana didn't manage to win that one. But this one was an utter and absolute thrashing for Isipathana. The defending champs mind you getting beaten by the newly promoted B division side. So Dharmaraja who drew with Trinity College uh, 34 all in the first weekend absolutely thrashing the uh, visiting Pathanians 35 points to 8 that uh, Dharmaraja backline was absolutely on fire. Trinity, I'm sorry, Isi Pathana didn't have any answer. Uh, Hiranta Pereira, who was one of the key players that uh, Shamli Nawaz was hoping will come through for him this season, absolutely nowhere, couldn't do much on his own as well. So this inexperienced young Isi Pathana side looking like they are not going to be able to defend their title uh, this year at all. So that's something uh, that Shamli Nawaz will want to remedy with his uh, green jersey boys very soon. But what is good about this is that Dharmaraja have signaled their intention. They have shown that the Trinity match wasn't just uh, a guts and glory thing. It wasn't just a flu thing it was an absolute executed performance uh, from uh, the uh, Dharmaraja boys. So that augurs well for the league. You're going to get some cracking games between Trinity, Peters, Dharmaraja and uh, even Wesley coming through if they can hold their fitness levels up will be uh, one to watch. So that's uh, that's how the league finished 35 points to 8 in favour of uh, in favour of uh, Dharmaraja, they are up in Kandy and Bogambara against the visiting defending league champs Isipadana. The points table, the way it looks right now, St. Peter's stays on the top, they stay in the number one position and moving up a few ranks is Wesley College, that's a surprise package for you. Uh, not sure whether they be, they'll be able to retain their place at number two throughout the course of the season, but who knows, they put in some great performances, they got promoted last week and uh, lost last year rather and it's great to see the two promoted sides, that's Wesley and Dharmaraja Raja at number two and three in the league. That really shows and gives a, a lot of uh, hope for the competitiveness of rugby here in Sri Lanka. And looking at the Asian Five Nations, the HSBC Asian Five Nations, it looks very much like we'll be having a lot more, a larger pool uh, to choose from than just the a, a few A Division schools because the B Division schools are also getting uh, so competitive at the moment. Trinity College also moving up to fourth position. Uh, they're not moving any higher because they didn't score a lot of points against Science College. Science College dropped down to fifth position. St. Joseph's also dropped down to sixth position after their big win last week. Royal College moving up a few notches there in seventh position. Isipathana have suffered two defeats already and they are the defending champs. So three teams at the bottom with no wins. That's Isipathana, Kingswood and St. Anthony's. So they are the ones who bring up their area. Looking forward to a lot of big games uh, this weekend as well. The HSBC Asian Five Nations continues. Come out and support your HSBC Asian Five Nations teams of Sri Lankan Tuskers and make sure you watch these singer schools rugby action as well. It's the second week roundup from the score.lk. Make sure you tune into our live feed as well throughout the course of the weekend.